morning, everyone. <clears throat> gonna start in about uh, one minute. Just gonna wait for people to join. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. <clears throat> Good morning. Hey, Jasper. <clears throat> gonna start pretty soon here. I just wanted to show you guys something kind of funny. So. <laughs> so I have this old iPhone, I think it's an iPhone 6S, I had it for a long time, but the battery, the battery doesn't last very long, so I went online and I bought a replacement battery, and <laughs> the packaging on this battery is hilarious. So what this says, it says, we are professionally, we are a professional manufacturer on battery with rich experience, have many global users. <laughs> so obviously this battery came from overseas because of the poor English, but I think it makes me laugh every time. Hi Owen, welcome to Tree People Yoga this morning. Uh, today is a spur climbing class. They should have stopped making them after the six. <laughs> I like the iPhone. I think it's a good phone. Yeah. Good morning. All right, we're going to start here pretty soon. Getting set up. You don't need any props for today's class. We're just going to uh, do stretches, regular stretches. Um, so yeah, it's 9 o'clock now, so we're going to get started. Welcome to Tree People Yoga in today's class. We are going to focus on all the muscles groups that you use to spur climb. Uh, shout out to Owen, he gave me these spurs when I first started. Uh, so yeah. We're going to start by warming up <clears throat> uh, our legs with some frog exercises. So come onto your hands and feet kind of in a squat position like this. Toes pointing out. With your feet, on, with your hands on the ground, welcome everybody. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, straighten out your legs. <sighs> Inhale, drop down, exhale, straighten your legs. <sighs> Inhale, squat, exhale, straighten your legs. <sighs> Inhale, squat, exhale, straighten out your legs. <sighs> Feel that heat building up inside your legs as <sighs> you warm up your body. Move at your own pace. Move as fast as you are comfortable with. Welcome everybody. Thanks for coming this morning. Just warming up our legs. Some frog squats. Two more. Very good. All right, come on to your tabletop position with your shoulders above your wrists, hips above your knees, and a nice stacked position. Spread your fingers nice and wide in tabletop position. We're going to do some cat and cows here. So inhale, drop your belly down towards the ground. Open up through your chest. Exhale, slowly round your spine back. Press your hands into the ground and feel a nice stretch in your shoulders. <sighs> Inhale, come back down. Open up through your chest. Exhale, round your spine. Move between cat and cow at your own pace, following the rhythm of your own breath. <sighs> feel your spine warming up. Feel your core stretching out. Feel your shoulders loosen up. Very good. Now bring your big toes a touch behind you. Spread your knees apart. We 
get your arms out in front of you and drop down to child's pose. Feel a nice stretch in your ankles. Ankles might be sore if you spent a lot of time on spurs this week. So let all that tension in your ankle just melt into the ground. Find your breath. Keep it nice and steady. So you relax into the ground. Tuck your toes under, tuck your toes underneath your feet, so you're kind of just on the balls of your feet. <clears throat> Sit up, and just balance on, on top of your heels with your butt. This stretches out the arch of your foot. You should feel a stretch through your big toe and also possibly your other toes as well, depending on how, how tight they are. <clears throat> but breathe into that tension. It can be pretty intense. This stretch really helps relieve arch burn. If you've been standing on your spurs a lot. Now come onto your hands and slap your feet together to kind of neutralize the stretch. Welcome everybody. Thank you guys for coming this morning. Welcome. Uh, we're going to do that stretch one more time, so tuck your toes under once again, and sit down on your heels. Feeling that stretch through your big toe and the arches of your feet. <sighs> Take deep breaths in and out of your nose. Uh, I just had a booger fly out of my nose. <laughs> your feet together to neutralize your feet. Very good. Now sit down on your butt. <clears throat> Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees apart for bound angle. Grab onto your toes. Sit up nice and straight. Relax your shoulders down. And hinge forward at your hips. You should feel a nice stretch in your knees and in your hips. yourself to go a little bit deeper into the pose if that's comfortable to you. <clears throat> if not, wherever you are is perfect. <clears throat> Alright, now come back up to a seated position. Stretch one leg out and <clears throat> using your thumbs, uh, massage across your calf muscles. So across your muscle like that. Work up and down your calf. It really helps work out all the knots. So kind of pr just press your thumbs into your calf and roll it back and forth. Working out all the knots as you take deep breaths. Your right leg and bring your left leg in. And now, same thing, just roll your thumbs across 
the backs of your calves. Working out all the knots that may have built up while you're climbing or working on the ground. This next stretch is gonna feel really good. Uh, so it's come to downward facing dog and just walk your feet back and forth. And that pairs really well with that massage we just gave the back of your calves. Sometimes I just like to go back and forth between massaging my legs and then going into downward facing dog and that really helps loosen up any knots that may have built up. So just walk your feet back and forth. Now we're facing dog. Keep your neck relaxed. Very good. And I come back on to your knees and stretch your legs out in front of you. Welcome everybody. Thank you guys for coming this morning. We're moving into seated spinal twist right now. So bring your right leg in, step it across your left knee, grab onto your right knee with your left arm, and place your right hand on the ground behind you. Sit up nice and straight and gently twist to your right from your core. You should feel a stretch in the outside of your right hip. Your hips can be pretty sore if you've been climbing because uh, while you're sitting in, the, in your saddle, your hips stabilize you while you are standing and cutting. So breathe into your right hip and seated spinal twist. Gently untwist, stretch your legs out, come back to center, bring your left leg in, step it across your right knee, sit up nice and straight, hold on to your left knee with your right arm, and place your left hand on the ground behind you, as you gently twist to your left from your core. As you inhale, focus on lengthening your spine. And as you exhale, <clears throat> move a little bit deeper into the pose. You should feel a nice stretch in, your, in the outside of your left hip. back to center. Spread your legs nice and wide. We're going to do a wide legged forward fold now. Point your toes. Flex your toes so they're uh, going towards your shins. Sit up nice and straight. Relax your shoulders and slowly walk your feet out to wherever is, uh, is comfortable for you, but where you also feel a nice stretch. You feel a nice stretch through the insides of your legs. Stretching out all the muscles you've used for climb. Breathe. Very 
at center. Bring your legs together. <clears throat> and lay down on your back. Lay down on your back. Now grab onto the outsides of your feet with your hands. Let your knees fall down towards the ground naturally. Press your shoulders into the ground. And reach your tailbone towards the ground. It doesn't have to touch the ground, just reach your tailbone down towards the ground. You should feel a nice stretch in your hips. And happy baby. Nice deep breaths. You can feel your hips opening up. Stretching out the muscles you use to kind of pinch the tree in between your legs. <laughs> <coughs> Keep your shoulders pressed into the ground. <clears throat> Keep your tailbone towards the ground. Now relax your feet down towards the ground once again. <clears throat> Keep your knees bent though. We're going to do a reclined pigeon now. So place your left ankle on your right knee. Flex your toes up towards your shin. Lace your fingers. Interlace your fingers behind your right leg. And pull your leg in towards your chest. You should feel a nice stretch in your left hip. Recline pigeon pose. Go as deep as your body allows. Don't strain yourself. Relax your feet back down to the ground. Now place your right ankle on your left knee. Interlace your fingers be behind your left leg. And pull your leg in towards your chest. Feeling a stretch in your right hip. Relax your feet back down to the ground. Now stretch your arms out wide in a T position. <sighs> Gently drop both your knees together to the right. <clears throat> and look over your left hand. It's a supine twist. way to relax your nervous system because it twists your spine gently keep your shoulders touching the ground
relax into the ground. Bring your knees back up to center. And gently drop your knees to the left this time. Gaze over your right hand. Keep your shoulders pressed into the ground. And let yourself sink into the ground. Take a moment to connect with your breath. Nice easy breaths in and out. Bring your knees back up to center. Stretch out your legs. Rest your arms by your sides. Palms facing up. <clears throat> Let your toes fall to either side naturally. <sighs> Relax your shoulders. Relax your feet. Relax every muscle in your body. very last pose of today's spur stretch session. You're just going to lay here for a few minutes in total relaxation. There's nothing you need to do right now. Nothing to think about. Lay as still as you can as you soak up the silence. If you find your mind wandering, turn your attention to the rise and fall of your breath. Feel your chest rise as you inhale and feel your chest fall as you exhale. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes as you come back to your body. Oh, stretch out your body in whatever way you feel is comfortable. And roll over onto your side. And when you're ready, come back up to a seated position. With your legs crossed. We're going to end today's practice. We're going to take three deep breaths together. Then we're going to inhale fully through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Here we go. Inhale fully. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale fully through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale fully through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Now just 
take a moment to notice how you feel right now. Feel that peace. Feel that relaxation. And remember that you can always carry this peace and relaxation throughout your day. Whatever may come up. Thank you for coming to Tree People Yoga. It's time to feel good and cut wood. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming this morning. Ah, this was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for coming. Let me read some of your comments. Good morning, Tree Peak from Bowman Clan. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Bowman. I always see your stories, they're pretty hilarious. Thank you guys for coming. You're welcome, Grip and Sip. Thank you for coming. Uh, thanks, Cam. Have a great week, stay safe. Yeah, you too, thank you for coming, Cameron. Stay safe. Uh, let's see. I think I, have, I might have a rhyme for you. Uh, off the top of my head. I didn't prepare any rhymes with my book, but let's see if I have a rhyme. All right. Uh, spur inspired rhyme. Here we go. Spurs on my feet. Spurs on my feet. Eating that cereal. Shredded wheat. Yeah, spurs on my feet. Spurs on my feet. Eating that cereal. It's time to eat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you, Tree Cutler. Uh, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for coming. All right, we're going to end it there. Goodbye.